believe that useful results have been achieved by our visit to London. Touched by all the sympathy the world has shown me, and especially by um, my country where I was born, Hungary. Thus, Countess Geraldine Apony thanks the world through Movitan for its congratulations. Tirana, the Albanian capital, is all agog for the wedding of its king. A great parade of military units passes before King Zog and his fiancée, and it is observed with appreciation that the Countess has learnt the national salute for women. This is important for a reason which will appear presently in the procession. Albania is a country of feminine patriotism and boasts a legion of Amazons who march past proudly led by one of the King's sisters in a steel helmet. A very prominent guest is Count Ciano, the man with the Mussolini manor. And that's okay, for isn't he Mussolini's son-in-law? Then the wedding. Amid the glittering throng of Albania's nobility and foreign representatives, King Zog and his bride advance slowly to the desk, where the President of the Parliament is waiting to conduct the civil ceremony. The King signs. He is a Mohammedan by faith, and the Countess is a Catholic. He is serious, she smiles, and takes care that lack of ink shall not spoil her signature. So Albania gets a queen, and King Zog a bride. For the big wedding in London, the approaches to St. Margaret's Westminster are thrown.